Hello, this is Hope Roski with Business Arts and Events. Today we have a special three-part series that we're going to start on accountability. In today's world where accountability is essential, many businesses are looking for growth in this area. And today we are joined by Eric Mertz with, with uh, Virtual Coaching. And I'd like to welcome you to the show. Eric, how are you? I'm great, Hope. It's good to see you. Eric, you've been doing business coaching for how many years? Well, I'm almost two decades in, but not quite completed. About <laughs> 18 years. Well, you've been doing a tremendous amount of business coaching with great success. And one of the areas that, you know, is I think for businesses um, that they have struggled with is accountability, especially when it comes to employees and that whole um, team building process. And, and with human accountability, you have to look at an individual's human nature and getting that background. Can you describe that to, to the viewers who are watching about what that whole human nature aspect of accountability is? Well, yeah, it's really, it really goes down to the bare essentials of human nature that we are creatures that um, we, we have to be held accountable because we go wayward, right? Otherwise. Right. So that could be just our beliefs and the things we follow. And we're accountable to that, to ourselves even. But when you put it on a bigger picture where there's other people involved, then, you know, it gets a little bit harder in terms of the complexity. But it really, the human nature, um, I mean, it goes back to the Garden of Eden, actually. <laughs> so, right. they fell, you know, they fell apart, but God was going to hold them accountable, right, for what they did that they weren't supposed to do. So if you look at it from that lens, we're all kind of born into that a little bit. And some people struggle with things more than others. And so there's basically a human need to know that somebody's kind of watching us or that we're trying to not disappoint others. Um, it could be like, you know, I don't believe that people get up in the morning and go, I'm just going to go to work today and try to mess up my boss's day. <laughs> right. I don't believe that most people do that. There are some. Yeah, there may be a very... few, but, but in general, no, you would not now, find so that. So they're the exception. So basically people want to do their job. They want to provide a service or, you know, create uh, a solution for somebody's problem. So, but we all have things that we don't see about ourselves or see what we're doing sometimes. And so that's part of the human nature is you, you can't look at yourself at the same time you're doing something unless you put it on video and then go back and look at it. Then you can see that, well, because I remember back even when I was playing sports, you know, we had the old films. We didn't have the mm -hmm. smartphones. And they would, you know, film day was Monday after the game. And then you get to see how well you did or how well you didn't do. But everything was right there. You know, the truth was in the film because you did that. You moved this way, you moved that way, or you did a great block, or you did a great pass or run, you know. So whatever it was, well, you're held accountable to, you know, doing your job. So, but, but the human nature is we don't really see exactly what the truth is without other people kind of pointing it out or having some kind of system or tools. So that's kind of the human nature of our need for accountability. Um, it's kind of built into it, us, right. who we are. So, you know, and within that, um, of that human nature, and the, the key word that comes to my mind is responsibility. I mean, you have a responsibility to be accountable. And I believe that really the two truly meld together. Can you expand on that? Yeah, exactly. I mean, if we're covering our responsibilities without somebody holding us accountable or, you know, checking on us, that's ideal, right? When we're able to do that. And we, we see people in our society that are highly disciplined. You know, we look at them, and I don't know how they do everything they do, but they just, they've got it down the system. And but I guarantee there's some part of their life where they probably need some accountability, but we see that and that's what we're trying to get to get to excellence, right? It's always a pursuit of excellence. And the, and if we're care, carrying out our responsibilities to the best that we can, 
that's that pursuit of excellence. Well, that's, you know, our, like when you're raising your kids, you want them to be responsible for their homework, responsible, sure. you know, to do their best in whatever endeavors they, they get involved in, to do the chores around the house. They're, they need to be responsible to do things the right way, to do things on time, to do things without being told once they know what they need to do. And we'll get into that a little bit further. But we really need people to feel responsible. Well, part of the responsibility is feeling somewhat of an owner of what it is we're trying to accomplish. So you can't ask people to be responsible if you're not going to give them ownership. Oh, I, I truly believe that that's key. And once, you know, that responsibility is taken and they can be held accountable for their actions, then that development of pers personal growth comes into to play. And I think that's really a key thing to look in on as well, is the personal growth. Yeah, and and really that's that's why when we hold our kids responsible when we're raising them, we're trying to teach them practices of being responsible to what they've committed to um, so that the people they're going to be involved with in their lives, whether it's their family, their community, their place of work, uh, organizations that they're, they're involved in, that they're going to be responsible citizens. And the way they're going to be responsible is they're going to have to grow, right? They're going to have to sure. learn things. They're going to have to understand that other people do things differently. And sometimes there's more than one way to do something. But if we're all we're all focused on the same outcome, we can all be responsible in our own way. So there's there's just so many different things that come involved with personal growth and development. Right. The, the accountability um, and responsibility taught at an early age carries on for the rest of your life. And I think about some of the right. coaches and teachers I had, you know, that maybe it wasn't a very pleasant conversation at a time, but I look back and go, you know, it was so much more valuable to me than if they would have just let me go, that they held me accountable to something that I had committed to or that my teammates were expecting me to do or my parents for that matter. And so that's really what's it, what's involved here. And so if people want good results, they should want to be held responsible and accountable to doing their their job, whatever it is. In whatever. So when you go into business and you meet with management and you're describing your model here, um, I'm sure that when this discussion comes up, the word mental health comes in there too, because all of these things are part of, when you were talking about your development, that's all a part of your, I would say, social, emotional, mental health. So when you yeah. go in, how do you then explain that and share this like with a company? Well, think about mental health a lot. I mean, today, it seems like we have so many problems with mental health and maybe it's just we're diagnosing more. I'm not, I'm not gonna throw my theories out about that. But I think some of it is when people are successful because they've been held accountable and responsible and they're getting results and they're, they can have satisfaction in just doing a good job regardless of the results that they're not in control of because they know they did their job. There's some happiness in there. Of I mean, I think progress, when you make progress, at least for me, I get joy, you know, even if it's not the exact results I was hoping for, but I made progress today and tomorrow I'll try to make a little more progress and a little more progress. I have to tell this one story about accountability because it's kind of funny. I, I was, I had a salesperson at one time and I had on my desk, I had this little placard that said, you know, I want you to hold me accountable. And I had it always facing outward. So when people would sit across from me, they would read it. I did that on purpose. <laughs> he came in one day, we were having our sales discussion. You know, who did he see and how did things go? And 
he was just kind of squirming around and he kept looking over there at that placard. I could kind of see it. It's like, I go, well, what's wrong? What's wrong today? You just seem out of it. Says, uh, I don't want to be held accountable. He just, <laughs> she just told me straight out. And, you know, and I go, yeah, I see that, you know, and we kind of, we worked out a way to work out a way. Um, he and I are still friends, but it was not the right time for him to stay, stay in that position. So it was, you know, it was kind of funny now, but it wasn't funny then for well, him. Well, back then, right. And then you have to, you know, take a look at where a business, because you work so much with, with companies, um, and that management has a really good understanding of all of this because what a company is looking for, in essence, is how to bring that individual in, you know, work on these steps, but it's all a part of the team building process. So it's, yes, that individual person, but it's that first step in that social trust and that team building process. And I wanted you to expand a little bit more on that as well. Yeah, and, and it, it is because if you're bringing a new team member to a team and I'm just one of the team members and I'm, I'm looking over my shoulder and go, is this person going to contribute or are they going to be a drag, right? Are they going to, are they going to add to this team and help us get where we want to go? Or is this somebody else I have to manage on the side of doing my regular work? You know, I'm just talking about the people that are out doing the work of whatever business it is. And along with that also, you know, one of the biggest things that people hire me as a coach for business owners is to hold them accountable to what they say they want, to where they want to go, to their goals. Um, and it includes sometimes holding other people accountable because it's a lot easier for them to sometimes just complain about the performance of their team, but not be willing to share the information necessary to change behavior. Well, right, it's, so that's right. So it's very easy to point, but it's a whole other thing to do. So it's easy to say, look at that, look at this, but then what are you doing about it? And I think that's where one would have to look at being a part of that something bigger and and all of that process in the accountability stage. Yeah, and and business owners, they'll tell me they hired me to hold them accountable and that and so then we work on where, how to cascade that through the organization in the right way. You know, there's a, you know, you can get the whips out and that's going to work for a minute, but you're probably not going to have a team very long. Right. And, because you know, everybody has to take their part in that being responsible, being accountable. Which, you know, brings up, you got to, set expectations you've got to make sure they've got the tools you got to make sure they have the training the knowledge you know to be successful to hold them accountable you can't hold them accountable if they don't have what's needed to do the job well i am so glad you say that because we're going to wrap up with that because the next thing we're going to talk about is executing accountability so, Eric, I'd like to thank you so much. Can you just let people know how they could get in touch with you as well? Yeah, you can You can look up my website, which is vertuacoaching.com, and you can connect on there. You can schedule a meeting from there if you'd like, or you can just email me at eric at vertuacoaching.com, and I guess that's on the screen. Yes. And then, or just pick up the phone and call me, and if I don't answer, leave a message. Because if you're not in my phone book, it might say, think you're spam. But Okay, me. and can you please uh, read that phone number uh, for the viewers, please? Sure, it's 661-343-2373. Well, you might Eric, text me before you. Get just, text before you make that phone call. That well, number. Eric Mertz, we'll see you in just a little bit. This is Hope Roski with part one of the human need for accountability, and we'll be right back with you.